Welcome back to Engineering Physics PH 8151 Arrear Coaching Series and we have been discussing the questions from unit number 1 properties of matter and this lecture we are going to discuss the third question. Let's see the question. What is a cantilever? Obtain an expression for the depression at the loaded end of a cantilever whose other end is fixed assuming that its own weight is not affecting in bending. So this is the question. So first, what is the cantilever? Cantilever is a horizontal rod whose one end is fixed, other end is loaded. So that is cantilever. What is cantilever? Cantilever is a horizontal rod whose one end is fixed, other end is loaded. If this is so, then it is said to be cantilever. Okay. For example, let us take this pencil as a rod. If I fix this one end and if I apply load on other end, so without load it is looks like this horizontal, but if we apply load, it will bend to this position according to the amount of load. It slowly bent. So, Based on the amount of load, this uh, vertical depression will vary. It will bend to a position and it will obtain equilibrium at one point. Okay. Now, what is the question? We have to ignore uh, the weight of uh, this cantilever and we have to calculate this vertical depression for the applied load. So, this is the question. How to derive the expression for this? vertical depression. Let us consider a cantilever of length L. Okay. So, this is the length L of the cantilever AB and because of the application of the load on B, assume that A is fixed. So, in that case, what happens? This beam bends down, right? So, from this point, this beam bends down like this. So, now we have to calculate. So, we have applied load and it takes the new position B prime, and we have to calculate this length that is y vertical depression we have to calculate we have to calculate an expression for that now this axis the length l and in this horizontal position a b is said to be neutral axis and assume that during this bending this cantilever is not elongated so that this entire length a to b prime is also l now if you consider a point at this bent cantilever, let us say this is point B, then this portion is let us say x, so that this remaining portion L minus x. So, for the application of force, there exists an external bending moment and because of this external bending moment, this material will experience an internal force that is called internal bending moment that will experience at the point B, at the point P. Right? So, at the equilibrium, this external bending moment and internal bending moment are equal. We can write an expression for that. At equilibrium, we can write the external bending moment that is C equal to force multiplied by distance here at point A we are experiencing this so that 
w l minus x. But why we are writing w in the place of force? What is the equation for force? F is equal to m a. If we replace here a mass is applied, if you replace this acceleration with acceleration due to gravity, then this is nothing but weight. It is a force actually. So, the W is equal to mg and this W is here and L minus x. So, what is the equivalent internal bending moment? That is equal to Young's modulus of the material multiplied by the moment of inertia of the material and the radius of the curvature created for the application of the weight on the material. So, this forms the curvature right and if you make it as a circle and it will have a radius. So, this is that radius ok. So, at equilibrium this and this are equal so that we can write w l minus x which is equal to y i bar r y i by r as equation 1. And now, let us assume another point q at this a b prime. So, this point is q and this forms an arc in the curvature and let us consider this point as the origin of this center point of this curvature so that we can connect these two points ok. If we connect these two points and this length is dx an angle between this p and q are d theta right. So, in this case this is we can write this is origin O. So, that and this point O p and point O q are equal to radius. So, that O p is equal to O q is equal to radius of the curvature and the angle P O q that is P O q that is equal to d theta and the arc p q which is equal to d x right. In that case now we can write this d x is equal to this arc of an curvature that is equal to the product of the radius multiplied by the angle between these two points. So, that is d theta this is equation 2 q draw a tangent from the point p to this vertical line b b prime. So, let us draw this tangents it touches the points b and b prime at c and d that is the tangent coming from p touches the b b prime at c and tangent coming from point q touches the line b b prime at d. Now, this angle also we define d theta and this length is dy. And now, the same argument we can write dy is equal to what we can write dy is equal to l minus x d theta we can write. So, we assume that this, this distance and this distance are same. So, that L minus x and this is the angle d theta. So, this is equation 3. Now, we can write the ratio between equation 2 and 3 that will yield us dx by dy which is equal to r d theta by l minus x d theta. So, d theta d theta will goes out the remaining is r by l minus x that is equal to dx by dy and if we rewrite this equation for r we will have minus x 
dx by dy. This is equation 4. Now we can see the r is present in equation 1. Here also there is an r. Now substitute this equation 4 into equation 1. Right? So equation 4 into equation 1 that will give us w l minus x which is equal to y i by r but we can substitute r with l minus x dx by dy what we have to do is we have to rewrite this equation for dy why if we can calculate dy then by application of integration we can calculate the entire y so that is the whole idea so entire y is nothing but this length so that now we have to rewrite this equation for dy for that purpose we can write this equation let us bring this l minus x left side so it becomes w l minus x the squared is equal to y i by dx by dy further this we can invert so that it becomes w l minus x square which is equal to y i dy by dx now this further we can write dy which is equal to w l minus x the whole square by y i into dx so this is equation number 5 now we have the equation for dy and if you want to get the entire y that is vertical depression we have to integrate this equation in the limit of 0 to l so that for y let us integrate this equation for 0 to l into dy in this side w by y i becomes common the remaining 0 to l l minus x the whole square dx will come into place now that we can expand w by y i integral of 0 to l this is a minus b the whole square so that l square plus x square minus 2 l x into dx and this becomes if we integrate it this side it becomes y left side and right side it becomes w by y i l square x plus x cube by 3 minus 2 l x square by 2 and we have to apply the limit 0 to L. 2, 2 will cancel out. And on the application of limit, this becomes W by Yi. It becomes L cube minus L cube by 3. And sorry, plus and minus L cube we have. So L cube, L cube will cancel out. And now, this y becomes y is equal to w l cube by 3 capital y i so this is the expression for the vertical depression of the cantilever now here w is weight l is the length of the cantilever and y is the moment of inertia and then I am sorry 
i is the moment of inertia and y is the Young's modulus. Right? So, so this y is equal to w l cube 3 y i is the vertical depression of the cantilever. So, let me recollect the methods. First, we have defined what is cantilever. Cantilever is a perpendicular beam which is fixed at one end and loaded at another end because of which it created a bending. Right? So, this is the setup. And once it is bent, there exists an external bending moment that causes bend, so that there exists an internal bending moment. So, we have to write the expression for external bending moment, internal bending moment. At equilibrium point, external bending moment is equal to internal bending moment, so that we have written. And we have considered a point P at this uh, bend. So, this bend we consider it as a curvature of a uh, circle, so that uh, we have defined these terms. And we have considered two points P and Q. These two points are forms an arc, uh, arc of the curvature in the circle. Then this is dx and we have calculated this dx with this d theta on radius. And similarly, we have also extend this tangent to the vertical line. And from that we have calculated dy. So, we have calculated the dx by dy that give us the expression for r that is the radius of the curvature which is present in this equation equation 1 and we have substituted that r here and we have rewritten this equation for dy. Once we know the dy, we can integrate it to get y. So, here we have written the expression for dy, then we have integrated in the length 0 to l. Why? Because uh, this small depression is uh, for the small dx in this entire length. So, that we have integrated over uh, 0 to l. and after this uh, mathematical uh, calculations and after the application of the limit, we will end up this y is equal to w l cube by 3 y i. This is the ex expression for the vertical depression of the cantilever. Mm -hmm.